Greetings and welcome to Parkasaurus. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, I want to thank de the developer Washbear for giving me a key to play this game. I have been waiting and waiting for this to come out because it reminds me so much of a game I played in my youth called Dino Park Tycoon. And this was a game where you had dino eggs and you had to build exhibits and put the, the dinos in there and take care of them. And now Parkasaurus has come out. It's in early access and it's so cute. I can't wait to show it to you. So I've played a little bit. I've gone through the tutorial all on my own. So I know how to play it for you guys. Um, I haven't explored everything yet. So there's still plenty of things that I need to figure out, but I wanted to get a handle on things so that I could give you guys a, um, a fair impression of the game. So let's go and start a new game um, and be aware this is a very very cute game. We're going to do a standard game. You can also customize your game. Uh, you have default money, generous, unlimited, research, all unlocked or regular, um, flat or bumpy terrain, um, area, new lot, forest or empty, eggs, default or free. So we're going to go back and just choose a standard game for now. I just want to show you how this plays out. Um, but it's really nice that there is already in this early access game a uh, kind of like a free play mode. So we're going to choose a new game and we're not going to skip the tutorial. I think it has some valuable information and I might forget to tell you some things. So let's go ahead and look at this. And this is adorable. <laughs> Dinos are coming to Earth in a space shuttle. Oh dear, we've crashed. Uh -huh. uh, we're feeling a little weird. We just got here. It's fine. <laughs> we're going to call our park Dino Funland. There we go. Confirm. Welcome. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I will be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up our dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first, navigating around your park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. From Ollie. So this is Ollie, our dino with the, um, the little uh, sort of graduation cap. So here we go. Hold down right, right mouse button to pan the camera. And I'm just going to click it five, six times because it's not that necessary. All right, we can zoom in and out or with keyboard functions. I'm using the mouse wheel and rotate the uh, camera. I wish you could use the mouse wheel, like uh, click and hold. You can, I think you can do it in free camera mode, but for some reason you have to use Q and E uh, with the is isometric view here for that. So we got completion on this. Congratulations us. All right, your first exhibit, Science Officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we should set up an exhibit first. Exhibits are where your diners live. You design exhibits to match your dino's needs and increase dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dino. Select the wood fence to build an exhibit from Luca. Okay, let's do that. All right, so they, they suggest this size of an exhibit. Let's just look around for a bit. I'll show you the park. Um, there's quite a bit of land here. Uh, if you want to, we were just panning here and looking around. There's a lot of junk here as well. We've got these kind of barrels, oil drums. We can either keep the junk or we can destroy it directly or we can have, um, I guess we can pick it up as well. Can we move this? Yeah, we can move it over there. Cool. Anyway, um, we can also have our janitors remove the junk as well uh, if we just want them to autonomously go after that stuff and take it out. Okay, cool. So let's get this out. Use the fence tool to create an exhibit. So here's our fences. We have wooden fences, and it's important that you note the, um, the attributes of these guys. Strength low, visibility average. Um, and then concrete uh, fence, visibility, no visibility. Strength is also average, or it is average. The other one is low. Let's go ahead and use a wooden fence just to, to complete the tutorial here. I kind of wish there was a, a square tool where you could do a whole square at a time. But that's okay. It does have this little nice little guide that you can use, which is really nice. Some nice um, QOL uh, things in this game, which I really like in the interface. Okay, so click on doors and we're going to build an exhibit door. So we'll build this right here. Okay, cool. We have done a good job. Excellent. All right, quest donation box. Pax here. I piloted and crashed the ship into your planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. I invented... <laughs> 
I invented a way to collect these coins in bins called donation boxes from PAX. Okay, thank you. We much appreciate this. All right, so we're going to go to our buildings and go to facilities and click the donation box and put it right next to the exhibit. Okay, cool. There we go. Good job. Now, we have another mail. Quest first best friend. Let's get you your first dinosaur. This is very exciting for everyone involved. From Ollie. All right, do we want a Stegosaurus or Triceratops? I think we'll go for a Stegi first. Okay. Open your inventory. That's the little backpack here. And you can click the Stegosaurus egg. And we're going to put it inside the exhibit. I'm going to put it near the door so that we have plenty of room to create our exhibit. Cool. So this egg is going to get ready to hatch. And that's the little progress bar. Okay, quest. Visiting town. Town is a great place to buy food, accessories for your dinos, or get loans. You can visit town anytime during the day, even at nighttime. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and visit the veggie shop. That's what it's telling us to go to. Kale them with kindness. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we need to buy veggies. So what I've learned here is that you can buy them right now from the vegetable um, purveyor um, for $40 each unit, or you can get a daily delivery, which is X amount per day, and you can choose how many you want to buy. It's telling us to buy six pieces, so we're just going to do this. Okay, but later on, we want to get this because it's cheaper and you get a delivery in the morning, click on the box and you're all good. So let's go ahead and do this and then go back and we're going to go back to our park. So the navigation is up here to get back to the park. Yum, yum. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders gives various bonuses to your dinos. Your new dino is a vegetarian. So let's get a vegetarian feeder from Ollie. Okay, so here we go. We're going to click on the, the dino thingamajingy. And this is a small vegetarian feeder for vegetable eaters. So we'll put this right here. All right, cool. Now then, what's our next task? A little help. Caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinos. Okay, let's hire one. Good idea. Let's go to the resumes here. Now, I haven't determined what is best exactly, but speed, I believe, is not just walk speed, but it's also how fast they do a task, Let's, as, as you can see here. Ability, how efficiently they do the task, and then personality, how well the employee interacts with guests. So this veterinarian, um, they heal and take care of the dinosaurs, clean up exhibits, refill food containers. Um, I think it's fairly okay for them to have a good personality whereas like janitors i don't think they need good personality um scientists i think they do but we'll get to that in a second so let's see if we can find one with a decent personality oh god way too many things this one seems like a good m mix of things also your employees do level up once you get them a uh, a building okay so we have work ethic, assign tasks. Okay, you can always look up this information in the Dinopedia located in the office. Okay, cool. So good. So we hired our veterinarian and we're gonna watch the veterinarian fill the feeder. Okay. So there the vet goes, shoving the food into the feeder. All right, and our egg is ready to hatch actually, but we're gonna get the exhibit ready to go first. The exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a particular biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile and then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Okay, this is pretty cool. So I don't want to... Okay, this is the, the weird thing about the tutorial. I'm going to click this. And I don't know if there's a way to tell what the egg is when it's in the exhibit. I know you can tell from the backpack view. You can just mouse over it. Um, well, that's good information to know. That's cool. So we bought six units of plants. So, and we have two left, so you can fit four in that small feeder. That's good. Anyway, we're going to build, I think it's a rainforest biome for our dino. So let's drag the grass uh, along here. This is cool too. We're going to get to these. They don't tell you about those in the tutorial, but I found them out. Let's go here. So here is our little biome um, chart thingy-majingy. So if we add mountains, um, it'll become taiga. 
if we add wetness, it'll become rainforest. And in other biomes like the sand biome or the alpine, there's actually a cross here. So you can have several different biomes. Um, anyway, we're going to, let's see, morph the biome. Yes, okay, add water. So we're gonna add water, which is here, also in the biome tools. And we'll just add a few little lakes here just to make it look nice. This kind of reminds me of Birthdays the Beginning. I don't know if anyone remembers that game, but I enjoyed that quite a lot as well. Um, but just creating these areas. Okay, so you see as we added wetness, the little marker moved toward the rainforest. Okay, every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's habitat score. Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in a particular biome. Note that the trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. From Ollie. Okay, yes. I wasn't done with the water, but thank you very much. Okay, we just want to add a little bit more. Uh, oh, dear. Okay, that was not intended. It's fine. No, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Some is a little bit deeper than others. It's fine, though. Now then, here, I love how this is color-coded. This is really nice. So the light green is forest, rainforest, and taiga. The sort of teal color is swamp, tundra, and alpine. And the yellow is for desert, grassland, and savanna. Really easy. And all of this stuff is color-coded this way. Very, very easy to find stuff. I really like this. Uh, really nice... Um, design of this stuff so uh okay build trees in the exhibit and here are the trees here if we want to look at these and we're going to just see uh see them kind of add up i'm going to add a lot near the water because i think they do require water there it says water tool um so we don't want them to get um be unhappy sometimes if you put stuff near the water like this one it'll add water tiles or it'll add um land tiles and get rid of the water so all right looks like we filled our tree quota let's go to the bushes and it wants us to use quince how nice okay cool and again it needs some water but it's always worth kind of having some extra water tiles because of this whole thing uh let's we're gonna add daffodils these are daffodils really seriously mm-hmm yes <clears throat> right Anyway, rocks. So we can add basalt, more basalt, or granite here. So we'll just add a few of these little rocks. We can press R to rotate stuff if we want to. So we have some nice rocks in here. Okay, and you might be wondering about shelters. Now, shelters for the dinosaurs are unlocked with technology, which we'll get to in a bit. Anyway, uh, okay, open for business. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park at any point. Just remember, guests give donations and buy tickets. So he's telling us you should open your park because guests will buy stuff and they will give you money, which is quite nice. All right, we're gonna click on this egg and we're gonna hatch our first baby dinosaur. It's Thomasina. And what I'm gonna do is I have, <laughs> I was so excited to record the game. I forgot to get the updated list of patrons. So um, all the patrons who are at that tier level, I'm going to just kind of add your names randomly from the list. And uh, we're going to change Thomasina's name to a patron name. So um, let's see. Okay, we have our wooden booth here and we can open the park. So let's go. Woohoo! Yay! Nice. All right, so our park is opened. All right, even more help. A janitor is a key member of your park staff. Janitor can repair fences, very important, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage. Go to the office and hire a janitor. Okay, so we're going to go to the office, get our janitor uh, coming in. Okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is just giving our daily budget. It's kind of interrupted us. We'll be fine. Let's go back. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. Uh, janitor. There we go. Um, we want to have a person probably with speed and ability. I'm thinking, let's see, 13 and 2 or 13 and 5. That looks pretty good. Let's hire Susia. I don't know if we can change their names at all, but let's hire uh, this person real quick. And we will go into the park. We'll click next day so that we start a new day. Okay, cool. And watch the janitor clean garbage. So here's our janitor. Wow, already all kinds of garbage has been generated. It's okay. I don't even know what the heck this is. Cans. All right. 
But it's kind of funny how cartoony it is. This is meant to be probably a soda can or something. Okay, click on the janitor. Uh, you can click on the icon above the janitor and move them to a different location. Okay, so we could move them like here if we wanted to. And we could say clear junk as well. There's been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park to make some money. All right, let's clear junk here. Go ahead, do this. So we need to have five guests visit the park and earn $30. Now, we're going to have a problem soon with Thomasina over here, um, which is going to be the privacy. Where the heck is that? It's this one. Privacy, 44%. Needs a more private exhibit. Being looked at by too many people right now. Yeah, poor Thomasina. We're going to fix that in just a moment, though. We're just going to do the, the tutorial business here. All right. There we go. This guy's cheering. He's pretty happy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and make another path. Actually, you know what? I want to change the path to be red. Red desert kind of looking stuff. I think it looks kind of cool. All right, it's very fitting for the desert. Security training. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. Just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of your dinosaur best friends decides to uh, adventure outside their exhibit. Learn to tranquilize a dinosaur. Okay, uh, we'll get there in a second. But anyway, the point is, I remember seeing Jurassic Park when it came out, and it was very cool. And of course, <laughs> yes, dinosaurs escaped from their exhibits, just slightly. All right, scientists, security. Let's go for security. Um, probably speed is good. And this is what they do. They do not do anything else but this. So we're going to go here. We can also get more resumes if we want to. Let's hire this person who is, I don't, I can't tell her name. All right, let's go back. So now we can click on a dinosaur. And then this confused me for the longest time. I thought, okay, from the info panel, you have to find a button. No, it is this button here. Request tranquilization. It was hidden by this thingy, but jingy. But these are extra buttons that are on a lot of these panels. Like for example, you can choose this item and you can choose to bulldoze it if you like. Uh, and there's also move or bulldozer basically. So anyway, let's go back to our dinosaur. Thomasina, hello, you cutie thing. All right, we're gonna tranquilize poor Thomasina. So security seconds has been sent to tranquilize Thomasina. Okay, so you're just going to shoot this poor dinosaur several times. And it's going to get tranquilized and hopefully not drown in the water. <clears throat> yes. She's slowing down. Poor thing. This is a gal, is it? Let's see. Yeah, it's a, it's a female dinosaur. Okay, so we can pick her up into our, into a, like a dinosaur cage box. It's like, it's like a cat carrier. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so we can release the dino back into the exhibit. So we can open our dinosaur inventory. This is separate from the backpack. We'll find later that there's a ton of stuff that's going to go into our backpack. But anyway, let's click on her crate and put her back in. There we go. And she'll automatically come out of here. She just opens her crate by herself. Yeah, she's really good at this. Anyway, okay, explore science. That is our next quest. Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at a science building or at a science presentation. That's from Luca. Okay, so we're going to build a science building. First of all, though, I want to plan our park a little bit. I want to get some paths down because I want to have room for stuff later, like benches and trash cans, um, things like this. However, I think we can build our science building right over here, research station. Let's go ahead and put this like right here. Let's see, we can turn the park around as well so we can just see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and put this here. Okay, and this is just telling us once we hire a scientist, we'll need to pick them up and put them on the science node. So we're gonna say, okay, boom. I love the way it just like booms, woohoo. All right, we'll just put a short path here. Oopsies. Okay, well, we'll just make this all red then. Uh -huh. Actually, just the whole thing. There we go. All the borders around it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you can press Alt to remove a path. That's cool. Now then, let's hire a scientist. Go here. Grab resume. Scientist, please. All right. Now, these are interesting because scientists do more than just be scientists. They're kind of cool. Wow. I think we'll choose 
Olympil? Yes, we'll hire you. Go back to our park and let's grab our scientist. Hello. Thank you. And shove you on the research thingy-bajingy. All right, so we need to generate 20 science today. It may not happen today. We'll see, but it might. Anyway, I think it's also time that we built some other attractions as well. So, for example, we want to build... Uh, we have our donation box. Should we wait for the science to get generated? I don't know. Let's start just building some other things. We need to build some um, places where our people can get stuff. Let's delete this tree for now. Go ahead. Yes, destroy the... Wow, <laughs> that looks very um, interesting. Okay, let's build a balloon shop here. Yay! Cool. All right. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. Okay, this is quite important, actually. But we'll, we're, we're going to hold off on this until we get a few more money-making structures here. Um... Let's see. Do we want to build a sweet tooth place here? Let's go ahead and build. Maybe we'll build our sweet tooth place. One, two, three. I want to build it here. Wait, I want to build some benches, I think. Wait, can I build that one? I can. Okay, hold on. Let's, um... I want to move this bench. Can I move it? There we go. I'll move it there. Okay, so we can have people sitting there. Let's build our sweet tooth shop here. Nice. Okay, and I think I'm going to build... Let's build a path here. In front of the shops. And I actually want to make those benches on the grass. It's actually quite crowded in here, isn't it? Hmm. Let's go ahead and move this guy. Let's move it here. Let's move these guys a little bit around. One there. We'll have another bench. Here. And then we can have a garbage can over here. Let's have it kind of in the middle there. Okay. Very nice. And then we'll probably also need to have a row of these guys' bathrooms shortly. Let's go ahead and build a pathway here. Uh, a double pathway, I think, because we'll have another shop here, I think. Now, for this area, I really would like to make it grass so that people are kind of around the grass area. Um, if I can remember how to get there. Okay, it's in terrain. That's good. Okay, this is going to be grass, and this is going to be grass, so that people kind of sit in the grass a little bit. I can build a, a light, which would be nice. Here we go. Just have this kind of in the middle here. There we go. Oh, that's very charming. Cool. All right, we'll build one here as well, in front of this area. Okay, nice. That's looking really pretty now. Okay, cool. So now we have this this little this is a sweet tooth we're selling some kind of food candy probably candy um cotton candy and then balloons we're still look at this price ten dollars ingredients 50 cents profit 950 uh, and then you can choose different upgrades for this stuff which is really pretty cool so anyway uh there are other decorations wooden arches metal arches signs we've got blocks rock piles all kinds of different kinds of things stumps and logs um, which we probably are going to get to a little bit later but right now i want to add another path this way and then oh okay thank you very much thank you very much that's very nice of you yes great 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 next day go on um Oh, and I need to probably check food. Oh, we have no food. Let's go to the food mart and collect some food. Let's buy like one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll add like four per day for food. Uh, just to make sure that we get them every day. All right. Now we we're making this path and I want to make a two wide path for um, having another exhibit. Probably here. 
Okay, let's check. The delivery has arrived. That's the truck that comes. That's the food truck. So we just click it and we get our plants. So I didn't know if they were going to build plants today. That's why, or I didn't know if they were going to deliver them since we just bought them today. Uh, but it should be just fine. So, okay, cool. We have the balloon shop. And I think just for decorative sake, I really would like this to be a little bit prettier and have this be on the grass as well. Have a grass outline for this place. Uh, do we want to add just just for the steps we could add here okay we can do that we can do that just leading up to the steps but i do like a little bit of green in this area so it looks nicer all right where is our dinosaur hello are you here oh yes every now and again the dinosaur will get unhappy and attack the fence speaking of attacking the fence yeah there's yelling happening oh dear um hi hello there we go. Okay, we have problems. Social, 20%. A herd dinosaur uh, requires a mate and more of a similar species. Now, we can't buy any dinosaurs just yet, but soon we will be able to. Now, enrichment. The dinosaur could use more toys. Now, unfortunately, we have no toys yet. Toys have to be unlocked through the heart menu, which is here. Um, and this is a time thing, so we can get one of the cool things we need to get is medium dino friends which gives us shelters shed shelters and flat rock shelters and the party pack too gives us the first toy i think toy ball uh, and then we have ball feeders stump feeders though these are our uh, fun items as you can see they have the, the little gift icon on them uh so yeah those are good things. Cheese hat. And then there are hats. And I have not discovered what hats are for yet, but um, they're going to be cool, I hope. So anyway, we're going to probably research this tree first. You can see how it kind of goes down um, and hopefully get uh, uh, Ornithopoda does type dinosaurs and then we'll get the Ankylosaurus, but also some of these things along the way. But it does take quite a lot of time because you can only get one heart per day per dinosaur and only if your dinosaur is happy. But anyway, I want to make our dinosaur a little bit happier because the privacy dino needs privacy. So what we're going to do is we're going to create privacy for our dinosaur. Um, and I want to do that with fences. First of all, uh, I'm going to kind of cut off part of this exhibit here. Uh, with this privacy fencing so the dinosaur hopefully will get more privacy now we can look at um, this is the privacy view of the dinosaur now this whole area is private and only this area is where people can see and where the dinosaur will get observed because they're very well aware of people's watching them and such now there's another thing we can do for privacy as well and that is to go into the terrain and use one of these privacy tiles. I was like, what the heck is a privacy tile? Well, we will see. This is for, uh, this is grass for the grassland areas. Um, and it's basically grass. It's just a grassy little place where your dino can hide a little bit. So I like to make them a little bit irregular so that um, they, it looks a little bit more natural. So it's quite nice there. Okay, there we go. There we are. So anyway, um, Oh dear, uh, poor, poor Dino is not um, <clears throat> reacting well to any of this, but it's going to be, it, this will go up very shortly. I, I think the Dino is just feeling a little bit unhappy at the moment, but we have created more private areas and I'm not sure why it's not reacting immediately, but hopefully it'll be okay soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to go to the portal screen. Uh, to open the portal. Now, this is a funky thing. Use the portal to take a journey to unknown lands and dig up fossils and footprints the easiest way possible. Maybe something will even follow you back home. So we can choose different creatures to search for, either Ceratopsia or Stegosauria uh, types of dinosaurs here. Um, and then we can open a portal. So we select a time period below the portal to determine the dino parts to to dig and those are the, the types of dinos and then you get the scientist to dig uh, use your current scientist to dig for skulls and footprints each of your scientists has a unique dig type and that's basically the shape that they dig which i will show you in a bit so this takes a little bit of time um, as they explore the area and what we need to do is probably i want to hire another um, scientist or two uh, let's actually hire maybe two scientists Let's get this one maybe okay let's get more resumes 
Personality is also quite important on these guys. Hmm. More? <laughs> 12, 3, 2, 14, 4, and wow, that's pretty good actually. I think I'm going to, you know what, we're going to try a an experiment. We'll get Renzion uh, with a high personality. And we're going to put this person afterward into an exhibit where they can interact with the public. And we'll just see how much they generate. So, all right, we need our expedition team to arrive at the dig site. They're still exploring here, so we can still go ahead and do stuff while we're waiting for that to happen. Oh, wow, I never even noticed the parking lot, how big it is. Holy fuzzy cats. Very nice. Um, let's look at more shops to build. Um, dino dogs, woohoo! Let's go ahead and put this down here. And we'll get people serving up dino dogs. I want to get maybe some more benches too. Uh, I forgot where those are. Let's see. But this, you have to keep in mind too, and this is really interesting to me, that there are a huge number of items that are researchable um, in the menu. So this is just a tiny, tiny uh, selection of what is in the game. Uh, for example, if we go to science and our science is generated, oh, we can actually uh, get stuff happening in science. Um, let's see, we can do employee learn. That's actually a good idea. We can get an employee building so that people can level up. That's actually a really good idea. Or we can say box laurels, um, ferns for decorations. Look at this, increase the decoration wonder of your guests. Uh-huh. Uh, sous chef gives us a hot dog huge. Increase time at the park by 20%. When gained, we'll call friend into the park if happy is greater than 40. That's pretty cool. And then we get a hat unlock. We got Tom's wonton truck and the Tulum taco shop. This sounds pretty darn good. Let's get this. Okay. And this unlocks these parts of the tree here. I want also the employee learning thing so our people can start leveling up. Captain Planet. Oh, yeah, we can get a better garbage bin to recycle half of our waste, which is nice. Uh, now we have 355 points. Okay, thank you very much. This is kind of interesting that it tells you, oh, your expedition has arrived in the portal room. And it gives you the option just to jump there and check on it. Okay, we're at the portal. Click on the dig button. Click on a scientist. Click on the dig site to remove dirt. Be careful. Find two footprints. Okay, so this is an interesting part of what our scientists dig. They dig these particular patterns and this one with one spot has 30 goes and these people with bigger ones have only five. So as you can see, we're already uncovering good stuff here. Let's get this and we're out of her stuff. Oh, okay. This is end of day tier rewards. Tier rewards are kind of like XP you get as you level and do stuff. We've got lots of donations. This is a pretty decent haul for today. Really good. And then we have all of our people saying stuff. So we have how much we earned today. Happy dinos one. We get one heart gained. We got 570 science gained. Uh, scientist research. That's what we're looking at. Mostly 270 points from the research lab. And then we got a tier award of 300. Nine hot dogs were eaten. 13 junk were picked up. Uh, 12 garbage were thrown away and 33 cotton candy were sold. We paid 523 to employees. This is good to compare to how much we earn. Um, we have, uh, let's see, income, expenses, attendance. Oh no, they're all here somehow, but we're not seeing them. I'm not, not quite sure why. Anyway, and then we have <laughs> these amusing reviews here. Is your food 100% free range local? Dino Funland was pretty dirty. I tripped on a can. I guess Dino, F Dino Tomasina was cool. Dino Funland was a bit filthy. Okay, so we may need to hire another um, janitor or put down more garbage cans. I was happy with the cleanliness. Okay, found a can on the ground, tidy, meh. Do you host weddings? Uh-huh. So there's all kinds of fun comments that you can get here. Okay, let's go back to our um, our portal. We haven't finished this yet. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's go to the next person um, with their five of these guys. Lots and lots to uncover. Oh, wow, this is like a really awesome dig site here. Uh, okay, so this one has three up. Nice. 
And I'm saving. Oh, delivery has arrived at the front gate. Okay, cool. So we're done with the those vertical bar ones. Okay, go away. Um, and now we're going to use just the single spot ones. Well, we're getting a ton of stuff in this particular thing. Um, and then once you get to this ground level, you can actually go further down. You can dig again. Okay. And remember, if it's two down, and you can also see on the edges if there's something there, potentially. Okay, nice. Is there something there? Yep. It's kind of brown on the edges. The regular rock is just gray. But remember, if you have to dig down twice, you use two digs. So let's see here. One, two. One and two. Wow, we just made it. But there's more stuff here if we can uncover it all. So the best thing is one with all nine spots um, allocated, I think. So anyway, but we can hire different scientists for that. So we'll return home and all this stuff goes into our backpack. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open another portal because it just takes time to do so. So we're going to go back to town. We go to the egg store. Let's get veggies first, though. Oh, we have four plants delivered every day. Okay, I think we're probably good. Okay, let's go back. And we go to our egg store. Luckily, we already earned a gem from earlier. Go to town and visit the egg store. Buy your first egg. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so what do we want to buy? We can't buy... I don't think we can actually buy anything yet. We have to go ahead and... I think we have to unlock more stuff. Because we need... Oh, we're needing to get Ceratopsia skulls and fragments for these guys. Uh, we got Stegosaurias. Okay, these guys. We need a rare gem to get this one. So I think... Can we change this? No, okay. We'll just have to do a... a um, a run with that but it's okay it's all good okay cool so things are happening here things are looking really good actually um okay go to town the egg store and what are they oh yeah they're just telling us this now gems we can buy here we can buy five imperfect gems let's buy a couple of them uh and then that will be good but i think this actually might be a really good time to end our episode because there's still so much to explore um anyway I hope you're enjoying this game as much as I have. I played my my sort of um, game to, to become a familiar for quite a long time just before I started recording. Um, so I'm I'm so far really, really enjoying the game. But uh, here's our dinosaur. You can see uh, Thomasina is still a baby, only three days old. Um, but the dinosaurs actually get bigger as they grow up. So I hope you'll look forward to seeing that shortly. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.